in a moment of silence, let's, in our own particular way from our own faith denominations, let's just bow our head and place ourselves in the presence of a loving God. As we pause these days to remember what would have been Dr. Martin Luther King's 85th birthday, we are reminded of part of his legacy, his great legacy, which is just as timely today as it was at the time of his death. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. For Dr. King, the sign of unity for which he worked was to help people engage in honest and constructive dialogue that would lead to reconciliation, lead to trust and understanding. There are those who feel that there are no racial problems. There are others who see race in every incident. I would see that the majority of people do want to deal with this scar, but many times do not know how or where to begin. Armed with the power of God's word, may we use this annual memorial as a recommittal on our part to help our people so that Jesus' prayer, that they all may be one, can indeed be part of a reality. Let us not grow weary or tired in our own efforts to eradicate injustice and racism and to promote true peace and reconciliation among all those entrusted to our care, all those who join us here today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.